I thought something was really wrong with me. Like, do I even have like a, do I have a brain disorder or something? Hey guys, welcome to Song Creation Media, where we reveal our songwriting techniques as well as break down other songwriters' style. In addition, we will be answering your questions and offering our tips and advice on songwriting. My name is Gabby. I'm Leah. In this episode, we're going to be singing our original song, Little Bird, and we'll be talking about the issue of songwriters forgetting their lyrics on stage or, or not memorizing them in the first place and carrying around papers. And It just seems like you don't really love what you're doing as much as you should, you know? Shangri-La evades me once again Empty beers and a note in your hand Nothing else can numb the pain You fool me twice, I bear the blame We were made for days of war We're lost in times of I don't know how to keep you warm, but I know, oh, I know how to be for you. There's nothing I won't do for you. There's nothing I won't do. You fly. So that was our song, Little Bird. As in the previous video, this was one of those you sent me, and I put, well, I did, you put, I put music to it, and I rearranged it. it. Yes. The, um, the hook part, for you there's nothing I won't do, he kind of built that up from the rest of it, kind of separated it, which I thought was really cool. Yeah, because I saw that, like... I don't know. I don't want to like mention any artist names, but I was inspired by several artists on the song, and I was like, that little for you, there's nothing I want to do is like very important. And I think you only had it in like the one part. Yeah, you had it as I a tag. Used, I just used it as a tag at the end. Yeah, and I'm like, this is something pieces. that's a perfect prequel to the verse or to the chorus. Right. As far as that first word, what were you gonna say? The Shangri-La. Oh, yeah. No, I I so. 
I was watching this movie um, about a struggling musician in Greenwich Village. It's uh, called Inside Llewellyn Davis, and it was just like I don't know. There was this like vibe happening, and it. I kind of sat down and started writing that straight after the movie was over, and I can't remember a point in time where Shangri La happened. I just thought. It was just kind of on my mind. What is Shangri La? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know if I can go into detail on that. Okay, so like it's kind of a it's kind of a state of mind. Okay, so mind. okay, and I'll ask a different question. Eastern mythology state of mind. I'll ask a different question. Like, mm-hmm. what does Shangri La evades me once again? On the verge of something revolutionary, spiritually or uh, in your life, and suddenly it's gone. Like, okay, it's like a, a wisp. Of seeing into like some beautiful magical land and then gone like before you can get there. Like yeah, like you almost got a really good job and, and you didn't, or like. Or you know you almost had the life you wanted, or the woman you wanted, or or the whole picture, and then suddenly, that was not even real. It's just not even real. So, mm. that's where that that that's that line. <laughs> it's funny because sometimes. I'm like, this is a cool song, and I'll, like, put music to it, but I don't really think about what the song means. I'm the exact opposite. (laughs) I'm like, I don't even care about the music as much. I mean, the music is what draws you into the words for me. Yeah, that's true. I need the lyrics to be something real. All right, guys, now we're going to address the title description of this video. Yeah. And that is the problem of forgetting your lyrics. Or, in other words, not remembering your lyrics. Is that the same thing? Just me- I think not it is. memorizing them. Yeah. So, in the past, when I was first starting as a musician, I would have these, like, lyric sheets in a, in a, Which in a binder. Which just use just now. And, number one, I would be sitting out there playing a festival, and the wind would just blow them away. And oh, it was yeah. the most annoying thing ever. <laughs> yeah. And if the page... Oh, even if the page just got flipped by the wind, it totally ruined everything, because I wouldn't... The second that page was flipped and I couldn't see the lyrics, I, I right. just, I'd freak and if you're out. playing while you're singing, you can't just like flip it back. Yeah, I think one of the problems is you freak out because you can't see your lyrics. But you've been playing the song for like a long time. I'm guessing you have the same thing. You've been playing the song for a while and you're just like, why can't I remember the lyrics if I've been playing the song for a year or two? Right. And the answer is... Practice. It's practice. Okay. I did what any millennial would do, and I went on Google, and I searched stuff, and I was like, because I really thought, I thought something was really wrong with me. Like, WebMD. I have a brain That's disorder. Disease, according to WebMD. I have a, <laughs> what? But it turns out, my brain was just lazy. Okay? And your brain is lazy, too. You need to get rid of that tablet, get rid of that lyric sheet, and start singing your songs without anything but your brain because chances are you know the song and if you don't right. you can have it here so if I'm singing I can look and you know, can't look for a second and see how long you can sing without looking at the sheets and right. before you know it your brain will will be um, it, it's like working out yeah it'll be acclimated to that level of activity you know exactly yeah. so I highly encourage you to just sit down and every single day, every single day that's possible, sing all your songs over and over again like a freak. Get those gears turning. Get those gears turning because that will help you. When you get on stage, you'll be confident. You'll know what comes next. And the fact that you don't have something you have to look at will help dynamic on stage your chemistry with yeah. your other musicians even if you're a solo performer you can still connect with the audience a lot better if you're not looking at anything but them that has been our tip for today thank you guys for watching our second episode here at song creation media it's been a true pleasure we'll see you guys next week for a brand new song and more tips and advice on songwriting <laughs>